Hello, dear Sino users, Matyash here again, and boy, I have some news for you. Today we'll be taking a look at the updated projects level in Synode. We listen to your feedback and here are the results. We're introducing folders to projects. They're here to stay and are here to help you satisfy all of your organizing needs. Creating a folder is very simple. All you have to do is click on the Create Folder button, enter your name and voila, the folder is here. Now you can create new projects inside that folder or add additional folders to it to further support your organizational needs. To move your existing projects, simply select them by clicking on the checkbox on each project card. Then choose the Move Action from the toolbar. Select a folder to which you want to move your projects to and click on the Move button. And that's it! Let's take a look at the new project cards. Now you can quickly see who's assigned to a certain project based on their avatar. If you haven't done so already, I suggest you select a unique one so your colleagues will easily recognize you. With the new cards, we also updated the project's table view, so now both views are nicely synced up. All the secondary options you could find at the bottom of the cards are now grouped under the context menu that is located to the top right of your card. You'll find project activity and comments here, as well as edit and archive actions if your user roles allow them. The comment section also got a brand new look and is now detached from the project cards. Don't worry, you will know which projects you're commenting on by seeing the project name at the top of the panel. In the middle is where you'll see all the comments generated by you and your team, and at the bottom is where you can input those comments as you see fit. If folders aren't your thing, or if you still need help finding something, you can finally filter your projects. Filtering projects is easy. All you have to do is click on the filter icon at the top right of the screen. In the open flyout, you'll be able to filter by a specific text input, which only searches through the names, filter by date, and filter by specific team members. You can select as many as you want and it will show you all the projects that have those colleagues assigned. Additionally, there is an option for the filter to search through all your folders as well, so you can make sure you cover everything. We revamped the project archive in Synode. Now you can always find the data you need, no matter how long ago you were working on it. Archiving projects hasn't changed that much. You can still select a project and archive it using the Archive Action buttons. To access the archive, you have two options. Either use the Archive Projects link at the bottom of your projects list, or access the archive through the view menu at the top right. No matter your choice, the destination will be the same. What's different from before is that you can still view all the contents of the archive project. You simply start navigating through one such project as if it were still active until you reach the information you've been looking for. Now it's also a good time to mention that our navigation got a bit simpler. Gone are the days of endless projects, experiments and tasks list. Now each level enjoys its own navigation list to keep things more digestible and tidy. Thank you for watching, and especially thank you for helping us build Synode into a better product. Take care of each other.